Make a play 707 in Jacksonville going down on February 20th, man. Y'all make sure y'all 786-45-9499 if you want to be a part of that. We're going to Duval, Florida, Jacksonville. Make a play 707. We roll it. We back, man. We on fire right now, man. So, 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 so listen. So, what, what, what was the question? Like, okay, so this is what I'm saying. We, we got into a conversation about Ermon Lane, Mark Pope, Brandon Ennis, James Williams. Like, sometimes in high school, we talk about these kids, about them not being productive. Um, but sometimes they're just out of position. Mm. They're out of position. Coach using them wherever they want to use them, where they need to use them. Or a kid wants to be a wide receiver. Man, I made an Instagram video called Top Five, Rece Top Five Reasons Why, the, why I'm Playing Wide Receiver Sucks. And oh my God, everybody jumped down my throat. But it's only because I see everybody wants to be a wide receiver because seven on seven. Everybody wants to get the blue. Everybody wants to get that fame. Everybody isn't a wide receiver. Irma Lane was a superior athlete, though. I seen people not want to line up in front of him. Him and Sam Bruce at these camps. I don't think he was a wide receiver. And obviously Florida State didn't either. You know what I'm saying? Didn't think he was a wide receiver. And then we started talking about the James Williams. So James Williams, you think is what? So I, I think James Williams can put, like we just said, he Anywhere can play on the field. any position he can that he wants on the field. Hunter, kicker. Yeah. <laughs> he can probably play any position that he wants on the field. Right. He, they put him at receiver, and he dominates a receiver. Right. Right. And he he could play free safety and play 12 to 15 yards off the ball. Right. And probably get you four or five picks. Right. Make some big plays as in regards to stripping the football, like he did at Western. Right. right. He impacted the game. But when the American Heritage put him in that striker position that out almost in like an outside linebacker role in their four two five. Uh-huh. It he was a boogeyman to offenses. They, nobody could do anything offensively against him. Trinity They did it his last year? Yeah. Yeah. And Harris his past year did that and uh, when and then, he, he would just yeah, roam around. He would roam around, he would just right. Roam around. Right, right, right. I think I think they were more so of him because the coach Yeah, they told us. But they gave him that but they gave him that freedom. They gave him that freedom. Food smell good. They gave him that freedom and they put Fagan over the top or they would put they would put uh, another defense back over the top and let him that's the, roam. Yeah. Yeah, because well, yeah, they this they explained to us that he's a lot smarter than people give him credit oh, for. His it. football acumen is through the roof. The yeah. kid understands coverages. He knows what everyone else is supposed to be doing. So that's why at free safety he is an asset because from the back end he can see everything and put people in positions where they need to be. Right. But when he's in the box he can he can attack <laughs> things that are going on. In right the box now. like who? Give me give me an example. You're talking about him, James William who? In the box like who? Uh, like I mean shit. <laughs> Um, he's just like he could play a traditional line. Like, like what? What was the kid name? Palomalu. Uh, but you're talking about further talking in the box. You're talking, talking about down. I'm talking about like as a striker as in the Miami defense. I'm talking about like as a striker in the Miami defense. Maybe in cover two situations he can go over the top. Isaiah, Isaiah, like Isaiah Sim, Isaiah, he could be like an Isaiah Simmons type player. From from played yeah, for Clemson. From, Remember he played corner. He yeah. played free safety. He played strong safety. Well, but most of the time. Said, um, Rose being on the yeah. talk about um, what's the name? Dansby. Carlos Dansby. Yeah. Like he could be that Carlos Dansby type player that you guys, you guys, you guys are talking about. But yeah. like an old school player where he just plays everything, right? Like, right. and he's just that that Swiss Army knife. Do, do you see? Manny done took over the defense. Mm -hmm. We got two guys in from Auburn. Now everybody love him. Do you see them using him like that? Is there a place to yeah. use him like that? Yeah, he's gonna play strike. Especially you think now, so? especially now since Manny defense is an attack defense. Yeah. My Spain, I say when, when 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 Baker was running defense, they they went to more zone than man. Like they right. they only ran man like thirty percent of the time, and it was zone sixty some percent of the time. Like, but what Manny's there is sixty percent man. Right. So and, and Manny likes to attack. You know what I'm saying so. So 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 so, so you think we was gonna make some plays like. So you're saying like a striker, basically. Yeah. Some people, basically some people say further than that. Some people say no, man, no, 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 no. He's not Greg Rousseau. Uh, I, I hate the comparison. Want, they, they want to I hate, I hate the comparison. Listen, Greg Rousseau was an exceptional athlete. He's gonna be a first round draft pick, right? Right. But Greg Rousseau, you see what he filled out to, 270 pounds. I don't see James filling out to 270 pounds, no, right? No, like 35. Man, put 25 pounds on in two months, three yeah, months, if you man. Look at, if you look at the structure of, of Greg Rousseau's body, he. he I compare. I, I say certain players look like a V, right? They have the widest shoulders that you can see, but their their waist looks like yeah. this, and, and they're skinny as as like they look like defensive backs or right. receivers. That was right. Greg Rousseau. So he just needed to be filled out the right, right way. James, right. 
James is not doesn't look like that. Now he's but what what stuff. is he going to look like? His body not his body is lean. James yeah. eating right in the right weight program. He's going to look like who? Two thirty five. He'll be two thirty five. He'll look like Isaiah Sim. He's going to look like Isaiah. Give me Simmons. another player. What was the What was the kid named from USC that time? We talk about um the big the big the big yeah. tall safety. They got drafted was really fast. You know, he I wasn't mean, sure if he could play or not. I but hate to make this comparison, but the only thing that you could from down here, he's a. I, you don't want me to do it. You don't want do me to do it. Do it. Do it. No, listen. I, I'm not saying. I'm not trying to put the expectations on the right, kid right, right. like that, was, that. He's I that. I big was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to put the expectations on the kid early like that. Man, but, screw but it. Listen, James Williams might be the next Sean Taylor. Because if Sean Taylor was playing today, right? <laughs> if Sean Taylor was pl- was playing today, he get kicked out of every game if you put him at free safety. Because yeah. he would just take off on people's heads. Yeah, James isn't as physical and as as as, yeah, no, as not. nuts. So but the same was. athleticism. I'm talking about yeah. athleticism, athleticism and the ability yeah. to impact the game defensively has, with the positions that you can it. put him in. That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about he's the same big hitter as Sean Taylor. I'm talking about profile-wise. He has the same ability to impact a single game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Prof- like his profile-wise. He's, he's a superb athlete. There's you aren't going to get a better athlete in the box than James Williams who understands coverages and is able if you wanted to jump him back and cover two settings right. and he's gonna play half the field. So is he closer to Sean Taylor or Taylor Mays? You Taylor agree? Mays. Taylor Mays was horrible in covering so but Taylor, Taylor Mays was a hit see here's the thing about Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor could cover. Taylor Mays couldn't cover. Taylor Mays should have just played linebacker. He just was fast. Yeah, he was just steroid. How big was he? Six Taylor three? Mays was six four. four. Six, six, four. Taylor Mays was six and he ran four. Like, two. What, four three? Six four, 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 four. Yes, three. but see, when everybody everybody equates athleticism to a forty time. Yeah. James might not run a four three, Ain't but James is more athletic than most of the players in the field right. because it's about what you can do. Like I've seen a lot of four three guys yeah. that can't cover, can't cover for fifteen yards, right? right? Like I hate to put it up. The Marcus Van Dyke ran a four two seven forty, right? Did Marcus Knight pan out as an NFL cornerback? How long you played in the NFL? He played for a while. He played for a while, but yeah. he was never, he was never, like, 4 no, guy, listen, you know? Listen, I, come on now. I say this all the time. I'm not sure what the 40 time has anything to yeah. do with football. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I, I, I've been saying this for a while. Like, you get Cam, right? Cam, Cam goes and says, he, he said on the, on, the, on the show, he's not that fast. Um... I'm on the field with Cam. Yep. You see him running from sideline to sideline. That's not a 40-yard dash. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's football speed. And 40-yard dashes is just something for the combine to talk about. I think it's propaganda. I don't, I don't see. It's the sexiness of sports. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see Listen, how. Listen, I think it shows a little bit of your athletic profile. Uh-huh. I think it's, it's one part of it. I think people try to make it too much of your athletic profile, right? Yeah. Like, Taylor Mays ran fast as hell straight in forward, straight line, right. right? I'm going to knock you out cold. But when a running back put his foot in the ground, Taylor Mays looked like a rope. Like, he was like stiff. He's, right. He doesn't have fluid hips. He didn't. He wasn't somebody that I was going to say, go cover this guy, right? right. James Williams is, no, if there's, like, remember when Eric Ebron used to gash Miami's defense? You put James Williams on Eric Ebron, and Eric Ebron, who is, who, right. wait, did he play on did he play on Saturday? <laughs> so that's the type of kid James is. That's the type right. of player that he is. He he impacts the game in so many different ways because of the different things you can do with him. Right. And he's not the same type of – he's not the same profile as this kid, but Minka Fitzpatrick was like that at, at Alabama. You can put him at strong Minka safety. Fitzpatrick. He impacted the game in so many different ways, right? How he's, big is Minka? Six what? He's six – Six one, two hundred and five pounds. So different type of player. But this is super smart. Yeah, but yeah. it's just a smart player that mm-hmm. I can put in a number of different roles and can come in right away and step in to do whatever role I need him. That's right. what James is. Right. The comparison why I like 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 when people be asking me about Shante and James is I, I, I it's it's very it's very similar because I played against Sean. Sean was like that in high school. Like Sean, you'll see him um, at safety. And by the time I'm getting ready to say hi, he'll be like, man, he's kind of middle, middle linebacker. Like, right. he's just all over, but his IQ. And you see James, James' IQ is, is that. I, I seen two games this year, and it's like, 
it's almost like the teams, the offense was literally scared. To I call him the, I call him the boogeyman this year. Yeah, they was literally scared. man. They were scared to say hi. You know, you know, you know, Tiger, Tiger is my man, and they, the West. I'm like, they about to, they about to, the, 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 what, what he they, at? What he was at the line? Man, you see James standing back, and then he just walking, and he just walking around like he just, just looking around, and then next you know he just attacking. It's like, man, Tiger. He just fall. I think his floor is Telvin Smith. It's like, man, he, he think what? Telvin Smith. His floor is Telvin Smith? Yeah, linebacker at worst. Yeah? At worst, yeah. yeah. And everybody thinks he's just doing whatever he wants when he when he's roaming around like that. He's not. James knows what he's going to do. Nobody he knows. knows what he's going to do. He, the coaches yeah. have told him, this is your responsibility. This is your this is what I need you to do right here. He knows where he's going. Yeah. He wants to be in your head. Hey, right. So that's why it, you yeah. have to fall. Like pre snap, he's one of those players. Like when they're calling out the mic, you ain't calling out the mic. You're calling out where's where's twenty, <laughs> you know, or where's one, right? right like right. wherever he is on the field, like you, you have to recognize and find him and hope that he's in the position where he, where he's actually doing what he's going to be doing. Right. Because the kid impacts the game in so many different ways. That's why I say, say he, he, he might be one of the freshmen that's coming to you yeah. on that one immediately. Because he just that he just has that type of impact. Well, there's a lot of safeties he's gonna jump over. And so we got eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of but safeties. He just has to jump over. So he just has to jump over Frierson. He just he's just that good, man. So you so you think it's striker right off the bat? Yeah, I think striker. Right. And he's and in 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 interviews like later he said he's he open open to help uh, open help on the team in whatever way. Okay. So I think that's a beautiful compromise. Right. Right. Is saying you're a strong safety in this. In this exotic defensive scheme, right? right? Where it, it's a pseudo four-two-five. This is where you are. You're yeah. out, you you can you can fill an outside linebacker role on on rundowns, right? And you can fill you can be that hook to curl or even a cover four situation type player. So what? Bubba does. Bowden goes to free safety. Bubba, Bubba, yeah, Bubba is that? I think Bubba. No, 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 no. Bubba's that. Bubba's that strong. Yeah. Um, so the. Um, what's huh? Hall, Hall is that? Hall is that free? Hall, Hall that free? Yeah. So and, and Bubba goes to where? And Bubba goes where? Bubba goes that strong. So in the, in the 4-2-5 defense, yeah. you essentially have three safeties on the field at all time. Right, right. So James can be on the field, and you still have Bubba Bolden on the field. You still have your combination of who? Who? <laughs> no, I don't know. If Carter oh, Carter might be a special teams guru this year. Well, uh, yeah. But Vontae, you need to get Vontae coming back, bro. Is he? Is he? Well, he, he posted, they posted the value of him next week. Yeah, who we got? We got who? A Smith? We got Keyashua Smith with that a, 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 a striker. You got a kid from Palmetto. We got uh, uh, Gilbert. You got Brian. You got Brian. Uh, Brian who? Brian Bolden. Brian Bolden. Oh, Brian Bolden. That's a, Brian, but Brian Bolden won't be free. Kid from South Bay to Palmetto. What his name is? Miramar. Keyshawn Washington. Keyshawn Washington. Oh, Keyshawn Washington. Oh, and, and don't forget about another um, kid from um, Harold. Central Harold. Harold. Yeah. I see I shop in here. Um no, I I think the Miramar kid the Miramar kid is, is somebody gonna be cornerback. Some that that kid is gonna be a, that kid might shock people and get on the field. Brian Bowden, yeah. Yeah. You know he's a four kid in high school. Yeah. Like that's a kid who he he's athletic enough to do it, smart enough to do it. I heard him he and the, that cornerback that didn't get any burn compl- they, 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 they yeah, might shock the, some kids. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Dustin, 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 I heard. I they heard, like the other kid too. Dustin they, may be a player for they, they like the two Marcus young players. Marcus Clark. Yeah. But the thing is, like you say, they 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 they're gonna play this four two five, so they're gonna have enough uh, room to play three safeties. Um, I mean, I just I, it's it's gonna be hard to keep James on the shit. James is just that good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cam Kitchen, maybe maybe this year he might red shirt, but it's gonna be hard to keep him off because his. His mental and his, his IQ of the game. Yeah. Right. I think it's good that it's so the new, above yeah. everybody else. With the new red shirt rule, you can play four games. So Cam could Cam could rotate in and, and, and some games can be learned. I um I I, 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 I thought they moved to the six. Did they move to they, if they moved to six, that's even better. I think I, I well I don't know. The, 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 the kids coming in may be better than some of the kids that are there. Better, but but it's gonna get to a point they, where they, if they keep bringing in classes like this, then everybody's not gonna be able to play. Like yeah. no. And yeah, some some of them will have to get red shirt and get bigger, faster, stronger. But man, y'all stay locked in with us. We're gonna be back, man, and talk about is Jane Williams good enough to be Sean Taylor? We're gonna talk about it, dog. Just 
talking about kids. Okay, in high school, high school is an imperfect thing, and sometimes kids are out of out of position. And, and it started with uh, Irma Lane. You can go back to Irma Lane at Homestead, wide receiver. Maybe he wasn't supposed to be a wide receiver. Um, there's a few kids. There, there's a few kids now, and one is one of the, the, the our best kid in the nation. What is he? 2023. 2023 number one kid, football player number one kid in the nation. Uh, Brandon Ennis. Brandon Ennis is very unique because Brandon Ennis is the type of kid where you can sit him on the bench. You don't care. You can bring him off the bench. He don't care. You can put him at cornerback. He don't care. Um, I once saw him play in a 7-on-7 championship with Immortals, and because he came to play with the team, they basically didn't start him. He played some offense, did his thing. In the championship game, they were down. They put Brandon Ennis in the game. He baited the quarterback to throwing the ball like uh, uh, across the middle, and instantly the first place took the ball back and gave his team the ball back. Brandon Ennis uh, plays punter, he plays safety, he plays he play anything play on quarterback. Quarterback, yeah, he play anything on the field. Where would somebody like that? Where would you get the most value out of your team on a kid like that? Oh man, I, I mean, listen, I think he's the best receiver in the nation, regardless of class. But I mean, we talked about it. Receivers impact the game based on opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that's based why I made my video. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you look at, I always try to tell people this: if you look at the best receivers in the NFL, none of them would have won a Super Bowl. Right. Not a, if you look at Julio Jones, no Super Bowl. Devontae Adams, no Super Bowl. AJ Green, no Super Bowl. Odell Beckham, no Super Bowl. On and on and on and on. Chad Ochocinco. Like the Jerry Rice. A B just won a Super Bowl. Was he the best receiver on the team? I mean, he came in on a veteran <laughs> minimums contract and, right. and was in it, you know, it, it, does right. he win a Super Bowl if he doesn't go through all the things he went through? Right? Because nope. he was on the Raiders before that, remember? It right. is, he's still on the Raiders. So, so you're saying wide receiver just that's just not an impactful I'm not saying it's, that it's, it's not it's, impactful. It's flamboyant. It's, it's, it's fame. It's, it's Your impact is limited because you're relying on so many different factors for you to actually do something. Impact, right. Yeah. It's so, Brandon Ennis, that receiver, once he gets the ball, obviously he's, he's, the, he's the best player on the field, right? right? You watch him against St. Thomas. The true prep is in that game with St. Thomas because Brandon Ennis is 100 yards in the first half. Right. Makes no, no matter who's covering him in that first half. <laughs> J.D. McBurrow, we went to go interview J.D. McBurrow, J.D. McBurrow, <laughs> he said Brandon Ennis was killing him in the first half. First half. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah. But yeah. then you turn but, up the pressure. But he thought we knew, I didn't know, I, I didn't see it, he thought we knew it already, he, yeah. but he kind of revealed it himself on the video, he was like, he was killing me, he was, he was killing me in the first half. Yeah, but I mean, if you put a Brandon Ennis at safety, for example, right, which we've seen, he's able to do whatever he wants to do without someone else's someone else's influence, right? Like, the only thing that's influencing what he does is the play call, right? There's, there's nobody that, you know, he doesn't need anybody to throw the right. football to him. He doesn't need someone to block for him. He doesn't need someone to, to do anything for him other than he just has to play football. Value, value, so, so is that something we call that in football? Like, the, the value, like, like, you're getting the most out of a player, um, other than just playing them both ways. Um, why wouldn't the coach see that and, and and just convert them? Like, hey man, listen man, we need you X Y Z. I mean, in high school you could play. Him. He's he's had he's one of those old school type players that he's been able to play both sides of the ball. Yeah. Now at the next level, you know that's not an option. Right. It's not an option. So I I think everybody's drooling at him at drooling. I, I mean, all of us when we see him play, right. it's super impressive. At your tournament, yeah. right? He, right? He he's playing a team. Kid, two kids covering him. He still goes up and snags the football. <laughs> and then look and, at and him. Then, and then looks at the kid while he's on the ground. So, obviously, at, at wide receiver, it, the mo- like a, a talent that we should see on Sundays one right. day. But if to get the best value out of the kid is, do, would you rather be Eddie Jackson or would you rather him be, you know? <laughs> be who? Be, I mean, name receiver that, that was a supreme talent that just didn't get the opportunity, and that's it. You know, I have this- it, it depends. I can't recall seeing anybody like I can't recall seeing anybody like him. And I've seen every I've seen him, Jerry Judy, Mari Cooper. 
I can't recall seeing anybody with his build, with his stature, yeah. um, do what he does. He, he, now I've heard some people say that his speed isn't up to par. What do you think about that? I, I think that's. I think he's proved that wrong. Yeah. Uh, I think as as he said a the same thing about Elijah Moore. How that turned out? Yeah, but he see he top wide receiver. But, but as a freshman, I, I do think you know he wasn't the fastest player on the field. But this year, he was explosive. He was yeah. an explosive player on the field. He he, he, he was. He, no, he was he, he, he's he, baby. He's he still got two years left. I think everybody has seen him. For, I mean, he's already played three years of high school football. So everybody thinks, oh, he's like we got to put it. We have, he has to be a polished product. He has to be perfect right. already. So, which he pretty much is. Well, listen, I was live at the game, and I hate recording like this, the way Instagram wants you to record, yeah. and my little gimbal. Impossible to keep Brandon Ennis in your frame like this, bro. If your camera, if you're not like this, I put the camera on him one time, man, and this just was like, oh my God. Like, I, like he, he was just, and he was out the frame, and I couldn't really keep up with him. I, I tell people, man, he may go down as the greatest South Florida player we ever saw. Because he's light skinned, people don't want to believe me. You know what I'm saying? But listen, the kid as an eighth grader, right, went to the Nike camp, didn't he? Yeah, and I think he put against up the a, kid from IMG. Everybody was there. Yeah, and I think he put up a spark score that was crazy too. At the Nike camps. He, he, um, if he was, we've seen guys play both ways. We've seen Dion. We've seen some of these elite talent. I think he's that. Bro. I think you just yeah. put him out there. <laughs> just put him on the field, yeah. and you just run him to the song is hanging out because. Yeah, ask him just and ask him right now. Just look, man. Go put him on whatever he's gonna make him win the game. Yeah, I, I think you just I think you just put him out there, and I don't think I, I, say he I don't think wide receiver is the most efficient place. And, and, and I'm not saying to change positions, you know, right. because he's gonna be the kid, just like we said about James. If James is at free safety, he's still gonna be James. Right. right. If you put Brandon at, at receiver, he's still gonna be still gonna make an impact. Still gonna be Brandon right. Ennis, you know. But do you want him to be Brandon Ennis, where he can do whatever, whatever he can, like it, no matter what. Every play happens. He's, he decides. Yes. Yeah. He he dictates his impact on yeah. the game, and it's not whether they have two guys covering me. Is the quarterback gonna throw the ball right? Are they gonna block from a quarterback? No, I get no. I, I get I get I get what you're saying. Um like I said, I think Irma Lane was a was a victim to that and it's probably been many more victims uh, um to that. Listen, one thing uh we are gonna touch on is is Miami Hurricanes receiver course last year um wasn't as good as we expected him to be. Um and one player it sticks out with is, is Mark Pope. Cause the other thing that sticks out is Coming out of high school, the Heisman Trophy winner this year, Smith, Mark Pope was rated higher than the Heisman Trophy winner. Now, that means nothing. Okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I covered Mark Pope in high school. I covered him in 7-on-7. Seven seven. Uh, I saw most of his career. And to see him struggle bothers me. You know what I'm saying? To see him struggle, Wigan struggle, it, it bothers me. And that's... That's just the mentor in me, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 not the media guy in me. But when people start asking me about Mark Pope in high school, and mm -hmm. I start thinking, without going to look at his huddle, and I start thinking about memories of me watching him play. I most of my memories of Mark Pope was seven on seven. I was there the day he lit Boom on fire. Y'all go to YouTube, check it out. Boom versus Florida Fire, and he got Andrew Adams was there, and they gave him another star. Um, he, he lit he he lit him up, and most of my memories of Mark Pope are seven is seven oh seven. He had the one catch in state championship um, as a junior, right? X. He was a, he caught the touchdown. He got him close. No, he caught the touchdown. Caught the touchdown. Huh? Game caught the game winning touchdown. But not a lot of my memories aren't from him excelling in tackle football. Um, what are, your, what are your memories of Mark? I think you coached against Mark Pope, right? Yeah, when I was at South Plant, um, we played them in a kickoff classic game. It's where the game, where the shots got rang out, and right. they had to evacuate the game. But you scared? <laughs> everybody dropped. The first time you ever saw shots rang out? I didn't even see them. I didn't even know that they happened. You never see them. You yeah. heard them. I first time even, you ever I hear them? I didn't even hear them. I didn't even hear them. I, I just, I see everybody jumping out of the stands, and I was like. What's going on here? Yeah. And, here, and then everybody just yeah, on the ground. To the floor. I was like, all right, I'm going to drop to the floor too. So. You want praying? Baby Jesus? 
No. I don't, I don't think anybody was saving me right there. I, mean, I think I've been at least three games with shots rang out. I think I've been at after parties at games with shots rang out. I think, like, my whole growing up was littered with shots ringing out. Like, I think. A little more used to it than I am. Um, but, no, I mean, listen, I, I, I think he was a good high school football player. But I, in regards to him as receiver in high school, I don't think we saw him dominate in the way of most five-star recruits. Did, was he know? five star? Four? Was he, he five? Was five star. Five star I, think, I think he got elevated to a five star. Five star rival, uh, half, uh, half four star. Yeah, blue chip prospect consensus, but I mean, he was for me, he was a it was a re- electric returner. Yeah. Uh, like against Deerfield Beach in the in the state semis, he bust one, you know, and, and where you think he's 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 right. cornered, and then boom, 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 he's gone. But right. I didn't really see the see those skills translate from being a returner and what he did in 7-on-7 seven seven to what he did on Friday nights as, as a receiver. Right. And, and part of that could go back to they never had an elite quarterback, listen, the offense I'll, that they ran. Listen, I tell people all the time, a lot of my memories of Jerry Judy are from camps and those viral videos in 7-on-7. Um, seven seven. I would go see Jerry Judy play. I say it all the time in Deerfield and – He'll get maybe five targets. He did have 77 catches. Huh? He did have 77 catches his senior year, though. His senior year, but I'm just saying, I would go see him play. And you're going to see the, one of the top wide receivers in the nation play. You should see what you see, right? That's your Corey Brooks. Right, right. You should see what you see. Exactly. Two catches, three catches. and But I knew for a fact it wasn't his ability. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't him. Like you said, at the wide receiver position, so much has to be right for you to succeed that sometimes it can make you look bad. But I knew who he was. Yeah. And I, I knew he, he was an Alabama kid, and I, I knew exactly who he was. Mm-hmm. I thought Mark Pope, I wanted to see Mark Pope excel, and I thought Mark Pope was maybe not Jerry Judy, but I thought he could succeed at yeah. I believe kids, some once again, Colleges fail kids. Mike Harley gets up there this year on the podium and starts crying and say he wanted to quit football. What happened that you wanted to quit football? What happened here in these last three years to make you want to quit football? So it's not just Mark Pope, right? You know what I'm saying? You got Wiggins, he struggles. And so it's not, it's, 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 that's your, your whole wide receiver core, right? <laughs> for me, for me, none of the three did anything in high school as receivers, though. <laughs> name it. Name a St. Thomas receiver that had over 400 yards receiving. Yeah, you can't season. really name a lot of. Trayvon things. Grimes was was considered all world, and he never had 500 yards in the season. Sam Bruce went from a, a thousand yard receiver at university school to St. Thomas, and That's not go him. look at the stats. I mean, maybe because they weren't playing the second half of a lot of games, but yeah. I, I think St. Thomas has struggled at offense for the last. Five years. Is it been struggling, or is it, or is it they just don't throw the football like that? I okay, mean, okay, maybe I, maybe yeah. struggle is in the word. Maybe they, yeah. Yeah, but Mike Carley, when I, when Mike Carley was in high school, listen, everybody knew who Mike Carley was. The same thing that you're saying, right? Right. When Mark Carley got the ball, he was impactful, right? Like he was fast as hell, faster than everybody else in the field, especially in high school. But what did he do? What did he do to what to like? Let's be honest here. We flipped him from Virginia. Okay. Um, but I also knew who Elijah Moore was. And, they said and, he was slow. And they said and he here, didn't. Do, you would go see St. Thomas play. As a sophomore, and it's the same story. He's, he's just seven or seven. Yeah, that, that was no, no. So oh, no, we had Harley. Huh? And they didn't want another. So we could have took Elijah Moore, right? Yeah, it was the next year. Yeah. yeah. So at as a sophomore at Western, huh? Elijah Moore was a thousand yard receiver on fire. Ridiculous. That's how he got the same. Yeah, him, him and Tyler Monaco broke every Western passing and yeah. receiving record. Um, and Elijah was a sophomore. Right. Elijah transferred to St. Thomas, and he has 300 yards total in his career at St. Thomas. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, but, 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 but listen, he didn't get bad. And that's what we were trying yeah. to say. He didn't all of a sudden turn bad. There's 50 some kids on the, fo- on the football team. There's St. Thomas got 32 coaches. Like, he didn't all of a sudden turn bad. Maybe they run the ball. Maybe they Maybe. run the ball. But my thing is, <laughs> what? my thing is we saw it from Elijah Moore. Yeah, we saw it. We saw, like, everybody says, oh, stats don't mean it. Production matters, man. 
Production yeah. matters. Like, like, uh, like when when I do my rankings, everybody's like, "Oh, this kid's rated a four star, right?" No offense, <laughs> that shit doesn't matter to me. Give me production, right? Yeah. With with potential yeah. compared to just potential, because we saw Elijah Moore do it, right? We've seen Jerry Judy have. I mean, he had seventy seven catches. That's doing it. He right. wasn't some. He wasn't some no name, right? Right. right. Like. Mike Harley. But it wasn't right. It wasn't like going to see Ja'Cory Brooks play. No, Ja'Cory no. Brooks 100 catches in a season. Right. right. We saw him do it. Romelo right. Brent's 800 yards in a season. We saw him. But do what it. we're not saying is, I'm not saying Ja'Cory Brooks was better than Jerry Judy. No, I'm just what I'm saying is, is I am but. different. <laughs> <laughs> different, <laughs> different. Yeah, y'all. What are y'all saying? What are we doing? I would. Uh, I would say he was better than Jerry Judy. Listen, all I'm saying is, oh. sometimes situations, sometimes situations dictate kids output and what we see and sometimes it becomes confusing it comes confusing it's never cut and dry especially in south florida um when when we're talking about um how the school system is set up with the coaches and everything um i've seen jerry judy play plenty of times and didn't impact the game in close games but i knew he was an alabama player yeah yeah so um so so i mean mark mark pope you think the kids can bounce back, man, before we get out of here? You think they? You, you, you think it's as simple as putting your head down, KJ Osborne, I'm focused now, and you bounce back? I guess we'll see. I mean, I, I listen, I think he has the ability to do it. I think there's a mental mental block there in some way, shape, or form. I hope that he does it because right. I think Miami needs someone to step up and receive this year beyond Mike Harley. Um, and, but, listen, those young kids are going to be re- breathing, down his, breathing down his neck. Um, you got Keyshawn Smith there who's going to be – right. Who's gonna be a guy? Keyshawn Smith. Keyshawn. Oh, Keyshawn. Okay, you're right, 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 right. Keyshawn, Keyshawn Smith. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. So, Romelo's not coming there to sit behind anybody. Yeah, Romelo's not coming to sit behind anybody. Jacoby's a dog. So I mean, it's gonna be. There's gonna be competition. I hope he does. I think he has the ability to do it. Right. But we still haven't seen it even in high school beyond a, a decent senior season. So, right, right, right. We'll see. All right, man. Y'all stay locked in with us, man. Make sure y'all come check out Lauren as well. What's the address, X man? One nine seven five two twenty seventh Avenue. Uh, right across from Dolphin Stadium. Right across from Dolphin Stadium, behind Denny's, man. Go around Denny's, man. <laughs> Come to Lord's bed, y'all. Check it out. Football Bill, man. We out here. Let's